This is the week that was, wasn't it? I mean, this guy, <laughs> how much more are we going to have to talk about this? You know, hopefully, you know, at, at some point, we all have to recognize we have to turn the page on this thing, you know. But um, we can't turn the page while yeah. all of this stuff is going on. Mark Garagos, the attorney for Jesse Smollett, literally said the case was dropped because the Chicago Police Department investigation was fatally flawed and it was going to become embarrassing. Well, first of all, the case wasn't dropped. The deferred prosecution or diversion programs are designed for people that are guilty of low-level crimes. That's what he went through. It's not designed for innocent people. The fact that he forfeited his bond and, and agreed to community service, that's what guilty people do. Innocent people go to court and present their case in front of a judge or a jury, and then they're proclaimed innocent, not guilty. So all of that is just rhetoric, and, and that's fine. You know, at the end it's of the day. It's not fine with people, though. Well, you know what? It's for me, as the superintendent of this police department, I have to turn the page and focus on what's really important in this city. We're getting ready to go into the summer months, so I have to focus on violent crime and keeping this city safe. Right, but you weren't even given a heads up about this dropping of the charges. You're at a police graduation with the mayor and they're in the secret courtroom before and reporters had to literally scurry to get there. I mean, what kind of relationship is this with the state's attorney that they couldn't call you and tell you about this? Well, you know what? Listen, Fran, um, since I've been superintendent, uh, my relationship with Kim Fox has been great. You know, but you know, you have to understand relationships with the police and the state's attorney's office can can often be akin to a marriage. You know, we don't always agree it's on things. It's a divorce sometimes, <laughs> so isn't it, it? Could be, but you know what, at the end of the day, all the police officers, the men and women of CPD, and the prosecutors over there at the state's attorney's office, all of us have the same mission, and that is to keep this city safe. So we don't always agree on everything, and that's just part of it. You know, but uh, the fact that we didn't know, okay, no, we didn't find out until uh, we were at the graduation. But at the end of the day, you know, that's a class four felony. It's the lowest type of felony that we have. We utilize uh, deferred prosecutions and diversion programs all the time. And again, that's designed for people that are guilty of a crime.